What now? Do you have any idea what's causing the resurrections? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor? What is it? It's when you get... <laughs> it's when you get incomplete information from an unverified source. Er... Anyway, what I heard is there's a fellow out west that's causing it. A necromancer, they call him. Supposedly he's sending magic out into the world somehow. Magic like... The bean slingers use? Never heard of any bean slingers raving... Bean slinger raising the dead, have you? Her scowl deepens. That'd be one hell of a can of beans. Hmm. Alright, uh, give me one second, guys. I'll grab a drink. Site should have did it before I restarted the, <laughs> the recording. Alright, Doc Alice sighs. What now? About the necromancer. Assuming he exists, what about him? Well, maybe someone ought to try and stop him. Doc Alice gives you a sharp look. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you? A gray haired old woman that knows as much about fighting as a squirrel knows surgery. Did you hit your head on a bar stool, kid? You aren't that old. And if I was going to pick something to go up against a necromancer, it'd be someone who knows about death in a scientific way. A doctor, right? Doc Alice stares hard at you <clears throat> and takes a swig from her bottle, saying nothing. And it sounds to me like you've got plenty of motivation to get the job done for your friends and, and everyone. She continues to look at you and you can see the gears turning in her head. It beats doing nothing anyway. It beats locking yourself in a house full of TNT and drinking yourself to death. You aren't even doing any doctoring anymore. She winces and looks away and then she shakes her head slowly. You seriously expect me to ride out west to buy myself chasing a, chasing a rumor? It doesn't have to be by yourself. I'm heading west too. Tag along with me. Maybe we can find the guy and put a stop to him. It's crazy. Impossible. Impossible like raising the dead is impossible. Alice crosses her arms and regards you thoughtfully. A spark slowly brightens in her eyes. Alright kid, what the hell? Let's give it a shot. Cool. Yo, what's up, Kang? No, he don't want to talk no more. Hmm. Who else do we need to talk to? You. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kind of things. For instance, by ginger, there's a centipede in my boot. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. Pete notices the shiny rock you're carrying, and his wild eyes light up. That there's a shiny rock you got there. Right shiny rock you got there, stranger. I'll give you seven meat for that rock. Sell it to him. He grabs a rock and sticks it in his belt pack, grin grinning. Thank you kindly. Pete notices the nugget of silver you found earlier. I'll take that old silver, uh, silver nugget off your hands. If you like, give you eight and one meat for it. Sell him the nugget. <coughs> you sell him the, uh, give him the nugget. He smiles and hands you some meat. Fine and dandy. Uh, he wants ore. We'll give him ore. Oh, oh, mm. listen, kid, all this stuff that I've been buying from you, you've been spending time on the ground, ain't you? Well, you listen to old Pete's advice, you'll stay out of old whore, or hole if you know what's good for you. This stuff down on the 40th level, not ain't worth messing with for a gal who wants to keep her eyes if you can catch my meaning. I'm not sure I do, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, Pete's a little crazy. else is there to do? Oh no, I'm still, I'm still in Boring Springs. We're going to the ranch. All the water in this trough has boiled away. Susie's ranch house has been burned to the ground. Damn. Oh hey, now. That has the only thing still left standing, and there's a very angry moving coming from behind this door. Something behind this door is making some pretty awful noises. Go through it anyway. Well, 
Looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Grab it. Got a varmint skin and knife. I like that. So we're gonna equip that. These pies were not safe. What the actual fuck is this? Thing looks angry. You're not gonna make it to the safe without dealing with it. Uh, deal with it. A pyro bove. He's gonna murder five. Oh, he is. 50% hot resistance. That's why it does nothing. You're an asshole. He set me on fire. I'm still on fire. And he's dead. So it doesn't right fucking matter. You defeat the nasty cow skull floating in a, in a cloud of flame, you gain 6 XP. Hooray! Grab the rifle. Did it respawn? No, that's weird. No. Oh, he said something about a 40th level Warhol. Man, we're going back to Warhol. No, 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 no. He said something about a level at Warhol. We're going to Warhol. You suddenly remember that weird thing that Pete said about level 40. Is is that a real thing? Where do you want to send the cargo elevator? Level 40. Strange black chest, open the chest. <coughs> a wave of nausea hits you as you slide the heavy lid off the chest. Inside there's a hat. It looks evil, and not in an abstract way. It has eyes, and they look like the eyes of a murderer. And it has teeth, which look like the teeth of an animal, who would be a murderer if animals understood the concept of murder. Put it on. Oh. You have, you have a sense of foreboding. Something tells you this is a bad idea. It's me. I'm telling you this is a bad idea. If you put this hat on, you won't ever be able to take it off, and things will be much harder on you. It will be as though your life is a game, and that game's difficulty level is greatly increased if you catch my meaning. You also get the sense that your extremely shy horse will not be willing to travel with you if you're wearing that hat. You'll need to swap for another the hostler before you can leave Boring Springs. I do not want this. I like my horse. I really want that box. I don't have dickering. I don't know how to get dickering. I'm gonna dink around for a little and Found mugs. So I'd say howdy. Got your rifle. So she says, well, with tears as you hang, hand her her rifle, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Yorin. I told you this a long time ago. Thanks, Yorin. Can't rightly say what this means to me. Uh, she looks at her rifle for a long moment, then looks back up at you. She sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing, wallowing in misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along when you head, rest, head west, just say the word. Are there like... Assholes outside. Yes, there are plenty of assholes outside. I want dynamite. I want dynamite. How do I get fucking dynamite?
getting rather grumpy. I guess it's time to leave. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving town, and we're going to take Crazy Pete, Doc Alice, Susie, or Gary. I feel like... I feel like I want to take Gary, because Gary sounds fun, but I also feel like I want to take Doc Alice, because Doc Alice sounds fun. Let's take Doc Alice. Hello. Day one, the first day of the rest of your life. Okay, there went. Uh, come her main. Uh, room for rent. Quire a thing. Very comfy lady. It's your partner. Howdy, Alice. If we're going to look into this necromancy business, I figure we ought to start with the local cemeteries. Makes sense. You know where they are. Yeah, I did some research into the Territory Cemetery a while back. Cemeteries a while back. Territory Cemeteries. Territory Cemeteries. <laughs> to see if there was a pattern. You okay? <laughs> okay, let's go. Was he okay? Oh, poker room. <clears throat> Gal's not in the mood to talk. They're engrossed in their own conversation. Oh boy, it's a guy. Well, howdy there. It's always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi there. Hi, thanks. I'm Yorn. Glad to know you, Mom. <laughs> Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. I saw the sign out front. That's right. Find us room in the house and plenty of room for your partner, too. Inter interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella. He paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by ba bandits. You seem like a decent sort. This room's yours if you want it. Wow, great. Hey, you Lloyd. Need any help? Well, if you're handy with the mechanicals type stuff, something's wrong with our piano... Our player, piano player. Okay. I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, I poked it around in it myself, but I lost the key. This is suddenly taking a strange turn. It's your partner. They're swinging on each other while asleep. Try to fix them. I do not have a needle. Spirit discussion about guns. Ooh, dartboard. See bartender for darts. And get some slop. Lady's busy washing dishes. Dishes? Okay, dishes, you retard. Hey, what are you doing in here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry, I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type, eh? Well, I prefer adventuresome. As it so happens, there's something I need. Uh, you can do for me. I'm out of salt, Peter. I need someone to go pick, pick me up some more. Salt, Peter. <laughs> Ned used to make gunpowder and other thing. Look and other things. Looks. Fucking Christ on a bike. And other things. Look. Who's the chef here? Me or you? Okay, okay. Where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. The chef marks the fort on your map. I will be back. What's the stage? Empty. Yeah. Lloyd. Do you have darts? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's old man by the piano? That's old Ellsbury. Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to sell his stories, but no one would buy him too weird his stories. Fantastical like. 
Too bad I love that stuff. Well, it don't matter much anymore. Now anymore. He had to get normal work to make ends meet here and did passing well as a prospector until one day he lost his mind. Mine in a mind. He what now? You know what I mean? He saw something. Something that made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking. Near completely come to that. <clears throat> he just stands there by the piano nowadays. Seems to calm him down. And as long as he doesn't make much trouble, I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fella. Need any more help? No, I'm still working on it. Hey, you Lloyd. Can I get some darts? Hmm? Silent Dartboard says to see you for darts. Oh, sorry, all the darts got broken months ago. That's disappointing. See you later. There's two L's and later. Is this our room? This is our room. Insult yourself. <laughs> Call yourself a lizard hug and vulture kissing jerk. You gain effect angry. Insult yourself again. <laughs> you better not insult yourself anymore. You getting any angrier, you're liable to pass out. Oh. You're madder in a hornet. If your anger level gets higher than one, you'll pass out from rage. Postcard on this table. Take it. Nice view from up here. There's a bed. And a way outside. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. Dirt water mercantile. Oh, hey. I'm sorry. Disposable binoculars. Use discover a new map location if you can find a high vantage point. Some dynamite, some plum pudding. I guess the star means there's an infinite amount. There's a shovel. I already have a shovel, so I don't need a shovel. I guess that's if you didn't find it. There's soda crackers. There's tooth powder. There's Vienna blood sausages. There's advanced bean craft. This is a cookbook. A cookbook! Specializing in bean recipes. I want it. I think I don't want it. I mean, that gold tooth. I mean... Okay. We have sundry provisions, miscellaneous provender, assorted uh, comestibles, comestibles, I don't know, various groceries. It's a little girl selling flowers. I'll buy some flowers. Durst water post office. Dirt water. Hi, I'm your Marston. Any mail for me? Hmm, nope. Damn. Darn. Sorry. I'd like to send a postcard. Alright, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, let him know what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be... Oh, it's one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat then. Thank you. There's some assorted stuff. Oh, hey, it's a jail. How do you, the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. Um, I'll have to be the sheriff. Um, do you have any law... Do you have law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you been to sheriff school? No. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? No. <clears throat> then what, may I ask? Intarnation makes you think you'd be qualified to be the sheriff. I just assumed. You just assumed that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day. Well, when you put it that way. If I had five meat for every <laughs> wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who wanders in here thinking they the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron, I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. Sorry. It's okay. Like I said, happens all the time. Offer to help. You need help until you find a new sheriff. Sheriff, you need to go with a gun. There's always someone in need of some justice. One who posts it back there, sells her over yonder. She points behind her and off to the right, respectively. Take your leave. A wanted poster, or a wanted poster, if accuracy is important. Read it. It says wanted. The house in the desert gang for hiccup, sorry. For mortgage non repayment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Hiccups again. Also for murdering two collection agents. Last seen in the house at the house in the desert. If I've heard me roared. You know if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Should want to go after them? Yes, yeah, sure. You got a new location. It's a wanted poster. No, wait, you misread it. It's a wasted poster? Close enough. Poster reads wasted. <laughs> the stripy hat game. For grand theft, paint, and tasteless hat vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. 
That was a me reward. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Yes. And that's all we have for now. I'm just exploring. So, why is this so spooky? Lot available, lot available, lot available, lot available, lot available, lot available. Not a lot available past this point. <laughs> That's good, I like that. Mm? Mr. Cook. Ah, oh, read this to them. Learn a new bean slinging skill. There's a recipe that's been scratched down and replaced with a bunch of paranoid draw insane scrawling. Gives wary a skill that increases your maximum AP. That sounds nice. It includes a chapter about making human-sized or larger automatons and binding them to your will to help with kitchen tasks. Gives Bean Golem a combat skill which summons a powerful golem to fight for you. And there's a recipe for a wall-shaped pile of beans that looks pretty interesting. Gives Bean Wall a spell that will create a wall of beans that provides cover from ranged attacks. Um... Bean Golem sounds hilarious. Practice making serve inside of beans until you're pretty good at it. Oh. Summon a powerful golem made of beans who will probably do your bidding. Summon's Bean Golem. Unfortunately, one of your earlier experiments gets a little rowdy and eats the book. Let's get some gumption. Cause I need, more, I need some more AP or else I can't fucking summon Bean Golem. So if we don't have anything we can here, at least for now, we need a needle for this. Oh. What I was waiting on. This is a spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because spitting it all in is not an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're already pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already. Sicko. Inspect it. Look, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Inspect it. So, here we go again. Alright, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filth, filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you, you're near the desert and the a <laughs> ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quick as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is full, is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins, the filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth, distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something, the color and viscosity of maple syrup. Except instead of maple syrup, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah. Glorp. It feels like putting your hand to a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. You got an item, filthy porcelain cow. Hooray! I lose a Moxie, but I gain some uh, spell damage. Moxie is uh, guns, mysticality is spells, muscle is punchy. I lost Moxie and muscle. That's what it's called. Mm. There's a lot of shit here. Mm. Let's go to the. Let's go to the desert house. We find a crate of supplies bound to a nearby army fort. 
Looks like it fell off the wagon. <clears throat> or the driver fell off the wagon and was too drunk to strap it down. In any, uh, in any case, it looks like it got knocked over by the f or knocked open by the fall. Let's see what's inside. You fish through the crate and help yourself to its military contents. It's not like those army cowards have any use for it back east in their cow coward hidey holes. As you dismount and approach the horse, the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from inside say, "What was that?" All right. Uh, uh oh. Looks like you're gonna have to be sneaky if you want to avoid a full-on fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? <laughs> yes, yeah, sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Thanks. Does that actually? Let's fucking go. My name actually changed to Muir and Sneaky Marston. Are you fucking? Are you? I don't have stupid walking on. Instead of it, you say this doghouse contains an angry dog. This doghouse contains an angry dog. Very funny. You're not gonna be able to get past it without alerting the gang inside the house. Bring them on! <laughs> Got to jump on them this time. I really wish I could summon Bean Golem. But I can do this. You're dead. Rufus Roughhouse is dead. Holy shit, what does she have? Oh, shotgun. Get it. Hold on, can I? You get so angry about losing that fight, you pass out. Uh. Hungry and sober. I wanted to do something. I had an idea. First off, I guess it's been a day, so... post cuff. Yeah, I got a package from Rufus! Your boy gave me a new... Dear sis, I found this and thought it might help you uh, might help you not die. You got an item, Advanced Beancraft. Jeez, you really miss that kid and you miss your parents. You get all nostalgic just thinking about it. And, uh, no. <laughs> and, read it. Alright. Great Northern Blizzard. That sounds fun, actually. I'm going to take... Four AP? Are you fucking with me right now? Holy fucking Christ! Let's go to the desert house. <clears throat> you come across the corpse of a cowboy. How do you know it's a corpse of a cowboy? Well, you can see by his outfit that he's a cowboy. You can see by his lack of flesh that he is a corpse. Check him, for, give him a proper burial. You dig a grave and put the cowboy's remains in it. Cause I am honorable. Awesome, I have two AP now. So I guess I can get something later to sneak past the dog, so we're gonna wait. We can go to the Dave Yard. Um, a few hundred yards off the trail, you see a solitary skeleton trudging towards the northeast, northwest, that way. It doesn't seem to have noticed you or anything else, really. Attack it. <gasps> it doesn't end my turn to summon the golem. Oh wow, I do no damage to this fucking skeleton. Bap. Bap. Yeah, you missed the bean golem. Bean Golem didn't miss. Oh my god. That's some damage. Alright, one second.